Hey folks, just wanted to take a minute to welcome you to class this semester. So this is the Intro to Information Management class and basically the class is all online this semester. Um, so we will not be meeting in person. Um, there are no required video sessions. Um, we can do that if, if we need to, uh, but the class is going to be pretty much online and you're not going to be using Canvas. Oh. We're not going to be using Canvas for a whole lot of the class. Most of it's going to happen um, through this product called Connect. So you'll have to buy the access code uh, from McGraw-Hill or from the CWC bookstore. And so the tools that I'm going to be using for this come directly from them. So it aligns right with the textbook. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying the paper book. Uh, it's just not going to be very helpful to you. Uh, but I would recommend uh, that you spend time with the readings and things like that online. <clears throat> and so the way things kind of work um, with that is it's an electronic book. And I realize that some of you may not be super comfortable with that, but that's the way most... Um, of the business trainings are going to be delivered in the future and currently actually as well So I want you to get uh, more accustomed to that uh, It's not just an online book though. It's it, there's a it's called the smart book or learn smart and You're going to be reading through there, but you're not going to be reading cover to cover You're going to be going through that and I've got a short demo in there uh, in that first weeks that kind of tells you how, how to approach it. Um, I think that it's, I think that it's maybe more challenging in some ways, um, but I think it's a lot easier in others. In other words, if you know something, they don't make you go back and redo the whole thing. So anyway, the idea here is that it helps you to get to the parts that you don't actually know, um, and not spend so much time on the things that you do know. Um, there's quizzes that are going to be um, completed each week, almost. Um, not quite, um, but each, I think there's nine or ten chapters. Um, so each, for each one of those chapters, you're going to complete a quiz. And what a lot of students forget is that you can do them multiple times. So just be sure to read my instructions. Many times people skip my instructions, and that's a little goofy, because sometimes I tell you exactly what to do. The other part about this class is I created a lot of videos and I think they're pretty helpful and they help you to avoid kind of going down the wrong road. So if you watch the videos, I'll, sometimes they're step-by-step -step instructions about how to do the thing. So if you watch the video, you could do the thing even if you never even knew anything. I mean, I literally tell you everything you need to do step-by-step. Um, not on everything, but on some things, uh, especially on the projects. So those projects are going to involve things like Excel or PowerPoint or things of that nature. Um, some of you may have some of those skills. Some of you may need a little bit of uh, help with some of those things. Um, so I try to give each one of you um, whatever it is you need with, with the tools that I've got in the class right now. So take a look at things. Um, and just don't just go with the calendar. I allow you to work ahead in this class. So if you want to skip ahead and complete an assignment, I'm all for it. The only thing that I want you to do on, a, on the timed basis is if there are any discussions that are required. Um, and I don't have a ton of them necessarily. Some teachers kind of punish you with discussions. I find it um, sometimes helpful for the folks who all are already on top of things um, but sometimes for those of you who are struggling or who've got huge loads um, sometimes it's the last thing that you're going to be worried about so I don't want to punish everyone and I don't want to just make it a gimme sort of thing so I'll do discussions when it's appropriate um, so take a look at the class again I think the most important thing you should remember here is that you could use Canvas in the very beginning to get to Connect, but once you start using the tool Connect, 
you may just want to go straight there. And Connect has a lot of bells, whistles, features, um, I mean, even some problems and shortcomings. But I think if you begin to get a little more comfortable with using that McGraw-Hill tool, you might actually see it in the future, even after you're done at CWC. Uh, McGraw-Hill does a lot of um, textbook sort of trainings and um, skill-based trainings. Um, I wouldn't say that they've got the best tools in the world, but it's what we have. And I've tried to keep the costs as low as possible. So the, t the uh, access code costs a little over $100. Uh, if you buy it at the CWC bookstore, it's going to cost you a little bit more than that. But um, again, I would not recommend buying the paper book. I just This stuff changes so quickly. By the time next year rolls around, some of this stuff may actually be somewhat outdated. So kind of keep that in mind as you move forward. But um, my name is Matt. The last name is Her. I'd prefer that you call me Matt. Um, if you want to call me Professor or any of those uh, other things, Mr. Her, um, that's fine, but I'd prefer that you call me Matt, and I'm not, uh, I don't say, I wouldn't say I'm the easiest teacher in the world, but I say, I'd say I'm pretty flexible, so stay in touch with me, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you, if there's something that's confusing, um, I usually try to address individuals' questions to the whole group, um, so if you have a question, Chances are other people have that question as well. So anyway, I'm looking forward to a great semester. Uh, we'll get started here pretty quickly. And there's going to be weeks where you got a lot more work than other weeks. So I would really, really, really try to work ahead, especially with some of the projects, just so you don't get, uh, you know, drug around by this stuff. You've got other uh, commitments, I'm guessing, to work, school, home, what have you. So. Usually people get sick, those sorts of things. So uh, if you stay ahead of things, it's probably gonna be a lot easier of a uh, semester for you. So I'm really looking forward to having you guys in class and stay in touch and um, looking forward to working with you. Thanks.